Because I, th I think one other series that I watched that just hit like really deep is this <clears throat> for like four episode OVA based on this novel called No Longer Human, which is like a classic Japanese yeah, novel. Yeah, does I all summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that is like probably one of the most harrowing things that I I've watched. Never heard about that. What is it about? It's what it's written by this guy called Dazai Osamu, who is considered like one of the three greats okay. in traditional Japanese literature. He was like a guy from the like- The big three. So he was, he was the big three. <laughs> so what's the story about in this one? Um, It's like, I, it's been a while since I watched it, but mm. I'm not sure if it's his like autobiography or if it's like based on his life story. But it's, it's just based on his life story. Okay, so it's just based on this life story about this guy who just who just keeps taking L's, man. Like imagine if you <laughs> just take imagine if you just take L's your entire life and you're just looking for that one win, but no, you just, just you just keeps becoming you just, yeah. you just you just keep taking L's your entire life. And Damn, that sounds like the Joker. I'm, I'm joking, <laughs> joking, I'm joking. No, but but it's it's this guy who just gets more and more depressed as his life goes on because to it, it, it is based on his life story. So mm. like this character it's someone who's like clinically depressed, yeah. right? And he's so depressed that, you know, he tries taking his life mul multiple times, okay. right? With, with, with you know, d uh, women that he's been with or just people that he finds. And then he just he just keeps living, which, which is actually true. Like the author tried committing suicide oh, wow. several times. times. And then he succeeded. You know, yeah. he, he actually succeeded. So that's- He drowned himself. Yeah. So that's like the headspace of the author who wrote this. And like, it's, I get, it's the, the story wait, like so I can't- wait, wait, so he he died? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He what? finished, after he finished. finishing this story- After he finished, this was the last novel he wrote yeah. before he oh drowned himself. Yeah. yeah, so it's just fucking, it's the most like- That's like one long suicide note then. Kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah, much, yeah. Cause it's just Damn. like a raw peek into the headspace of this someone. Is, this is our most depressing episode. <laughs> yeah. just, I'm sorry. It's Carry really good though. Yeah. It's a really good piece of literature. Yeah, yeah. because like it's, it's, it's just this, uh, like it's just based on his life story and just mm. all the mm. shitty things that happens mm. to him. And then it, it ends with just, you, you think that you think he's found like uh, this ray of hope, right? You, th mm. you think he's, you, he's, you fa he's found his ray of hope and then he just gets shit on once again. Like imagine if someone has stage four leukemia and yeah. then you just find out he has AIDS as well. And then he, he gets <laughs> kicked on and then you just kick on it, kick him while it he's- just keeps while going, yeah. And like th how, how it ends is that he's like, he's like so like, he, he he doesn't even think that di like if he commits suicide, yeah. that's not even the right way to end it. It's called no longer human because he feels like he's so he's so low that he just doesn't. He's no longer human. Mm. Like he he's no he no he no longer is in this human world, and it is the most harrowing thing. I've, I've I've used harrowing a lot because I don't know I don't know I, like I, I it's, mean, it's the only way to describe. I, that. I don't I don't know. I mean, because you're, you're essentially reading the the fall. Right, like yeah, you're, yeah, you're reading yeah. The, Pretty much. Damn, that's that sounds like a yeah, lot. yeah. It's it's brutal. Is yeah. the only way to describe it. I mean, I I like those experiences, mm. but mm -hmm. they are like you said earlier. You have to be in the right headspace because right. I feel yeah. like I don't know if you go into it like already like pretty fucked up, like yeah. you're not feeling too great. It's yeah. it's not going to do great for your mental health. I think no, the, yeah. I think the one problem as well with No Longer Human and the reason why probably not a lot of people like know about it yeah. is that not just because of its like subject matter, but just the fact that anime fans today know Dazai Osamu for that one Bungo Stray Dogs character. <laughs> yeah, you know? That's true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but like, and people are like, oh, Dazai, yeah, he was my husbando in Bungo Stray Dogs, <laughs> not knowing that the real Dazai was the most depressed fucking author yeah. in like yeah. probably all of Japanese literature. Yeah. And he wrote some, um, not just No Longer Human, but he wrote some amazing pieces of literature. Yeah. Just yeah. because, again, he based it so much on his real life and yeah. the fact that he was just fucking depressed as hell. Yeah. And cause, cause like, yeah. I, I feel like you have to be in that headspace to write something that powerful, yeah. just that raw, that just hits and just cuts that deeply. It's like an Edgar Allan Poe situation. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, right? you, you can't write dark poetry like that unless yeah. you had a mm. fucked up mm. life growing up. So. Yeah, yeah I feel, feel spoiled, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> sorry, sorry to bring a downer to this Damn, episode. Bro. People even watch less. <laughs> 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 <laughs>